Hey guys, welcome. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a little overview slash review of the Berkeley Power Bait Gilly. Now, I actually bought this bait yesterday. I went out and I tried it. I'll be honest with you, my hopes were meh. I was like, it might be good, might not, because you can find a lot of swim baits like that in stores. And me personally, I haven't had the best luck with them. But I took these baits out to the pond that I was fishing and by my surprise, I'm telling you, when you put that thing in the water, you can't even tell it's fake. It looks like a real fish swimming around. Uh, so the action is actually um, really good. And when you have it just, actually I have it rigged up right here. Have it weightless on a Texas rig through the side. It'll sink real slow. And when you just, I like to twitch it a few times if you're working it real slow and you don't wanna use it like a full on swim bait. It looks just like a real bluegill, uh, and the bluegill and bass have been spawning, and I actually got some bass interested in it, ch trying to chase it off. They didn't quite commit to it, but I believe with a little more work, I could definitely get them there. The ones I have are the 90 millimeter, and I have them rigged up on my Albert Garcia Revo SX, on my St. Croix Mojo Bass Rod, and once again, I was fishing it, looks so realistic in the water, and you get four of them for what I believe I bought my pack for six dollars, which is not a bad price at all, especially with how durable they are. Uh, it's gonna take a while for these to tear up, and I even look, I even switched them out a couple times, uh, put different bait on the Texas rig hook, minimal damage done to it, still perfectly fine. I switched it out probably three times. Uh, so, you know. So, after watching that video of it swimming in the water, uh, published by Berkeley itself, um, <laughs> credits to them, but, uh, <laughs> I would highly recommend at least trying the bait at some point, especially if you're fishing in a pond where the main food source for these bass are bluegill, uh, because I, I see this being a, a nice bait for me, especially when I go up to Pennsylvania, uh, where I fish up there, uh, I see it, I see it putting, putting some work in, okay, um, but yeah, if I were to rate it like out of 10, I would probably give it a solid eight out of 10. Um, 10 being the best, one being the worst, obviously. Uh, I would definitely recommend to a friend, especially depending on what you fish. But other than that, definitely if you guys can, go give it a try.